Homeowners in Miami have allegedly been swindled out of millions of dollars, and I'm gonna be telling you guys about it in this video today. We're talking about the scandal, the hot goss, revolving around the hammocks, which is Florida's largest homeowners association, what this means for HOAs across the board, and what you can do to protect yourself if you are suspicious of your homeowners association. Jake Fletcher here with the Fletcher Group at EXP Realty, your Miami real estate agent, and all my contact info is in the description down below if you guys would like to reach out. If you have ever been a member of an HOA or currently a member of an HOA that you're not a big fan of, maybe you had a run in with them or you're suspicious of how they might be handling the finances of the HOA, then you're definitely gonna wanna watch this video. If not for the justice that it appears we might be getting or the schadenfreude of seeing karma come back around for these people who were up to these scandalous uh, affairs, then you definitely will want to check out what kind of uh, instructive lessons we can take away from this. And we're going to be talking about what you can do if you find yourself in a situation where you're questioning, you know, what's my HOA up to? Where's all these reserves going to? Why does it seem like the fees always keep getting higher, but nothing gets done? We're going to be talking about that in this video. So stay tuned and let's get on into it. If you've been paying attention to the news lately, then you might've heard the story about the five members of the Hammocks HOA, Florida's largest homeowners association, who were arrested and accused of corruption and stealing up to $2 million from homeowners by basically writing checks to vendors for work that was never performed. They then allegedly kicked back payments to the HOA's former president, Margley Gallego, and along with her were the arrest of her husband, Jose Antonio Gonzalez, as well as current HOA president, Monica Isabel Guilardi, board member Miriam Arango Rogers, and former board member, Yoledis Lopez Garcia. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle held a news conference on Tuesday afternoon to announce these arrests uh, of these past and former, uh, you know, past and present uh, board members of the hammocks, uh, where she stated, quote, the board annually collected approximately $4 million in dues that were paid by the homeowners. And it appears that most of those funds and millions of HOA reserves are gone. Homeowners claim that they were denied access to their documents, all while monthly HOA fees skyrocketed, with some residents receiving fee increases of almost 400%. So for years, many of the 18,400 residents across these 40 subdivisions suspected that something was wrong with the HOA and their suspicions were officially confirmed with the arrests and subsequent cash of documents that were found under the association office floorboards, according to the Miami Herald. So what do you do if you suspect your HOA of foul play? Well, thankfully, most HOAs are likely not up to criminal conspiracies. However, if you're concerned, the first thing you can do is to attend your HOA meetings to review budgets, special assessments, and any other issues that might be affecting you as a homeowner or your subdivision or development. So if you can't attend those meetings, then you can request a copy of the meeting minutes. Uh, but most importantly of all, every single association has to prepare an annual budget. So get a copy of that budget and review it with a fine tooth comb to see what the anticipated costs are. Then you can compare that to what actually takes place. So for example, if they say they're gonna use half a million dollars of association reserves uh, to build a clubhouse and then that clubhouse never gets built or they just do a cheap renovation of the existing clubhouse, then there may be some issues there, right? So I know it doesn't sound sexy to go to your HOA meetings, but it's honestly the best way to be in in the know and to keep your HOA in check, um, you know, so get involved, get personally involved, and then you'll, you know, have a hands on, uh, you know, relationship with what's going on with your association. Also, HOAs are regulated by Florida law. So if you have reason to suspect any potential criminal activity, reach out to an attorney immediately for assistance. Do not try to handle it all on your own. Get a professional involved, not only to advance your cause, 
but to protect yourself as well. So in a recent article in the Miami Herald, that same Miami-Dade state attorney, Catherine Fernandez Rundle, states that the Florida legislature specifically designed the state's HOA law to limit government's ability to regulate HOAs, explaining that the legislature says, quote, it is not in the best interest of homeowners associations or the individual association members thereof to create or impose a government bureau or other agency of state government to regulate the affairs of homeowners associations in quote. She says, while this may be a virtuous conceptual approach, it has created the unintended consequence of leaving homeowners with little, if any, protection or opportunity of redress when the HOA board members raid association bank accounts. In this criminal case, we believe the evidence can prove the theft of well over a million dollars of homeowners' monies, but we think the actual loss is much higher. Sadly, we have seen instances of greedy or unscrupulous board members take advantage of this lack of oversight before. They often hide their misconduct by making it extraordinarily difficult and expensive for homeowners to effectively access and examine any records. Ironically, homeowners typically are stuck paying exorbitant legal fees for accessing information to which they should be entitled. Current law renders the only Florida agency with the slightest regulatory authority, the Department of Business and Professional Regulations, shortened and known otherwise as the DBPR, impotent to provide the oversight that HOA residents deserve. The law also makes it unnecessarily burdensome for law enforcement officers to obtain evidence of wrongdoing. In 2016, she brought similar problems regarding condominium oversight and financial records accessibility to the attention of a grand jury. Their detailed report included a number of recommendations to alleviate the problem. Now, while condominiums are not HOAs, the problem of records accessibility and financial financial mismanagement are surprisingly similar. Homeowners and HOAs should be protected, and based on experiences learned during the criminal investigations, the Florida legislature can take several steps that would go far to help vulnerable homeowners throughout Miami-Dade County and all of Florida, without creating the government overreach that lawmakers rightfully wished to avoid. So I'm gonna cover what those uh, steps were. So they recommend to amend the HOA law to include the same minimal protection given to condominium owners. Also, amend the HOA and condominium laws to provide criminal penalties for the destruction of association records or the failure to provide records upon lawful request. Also, they recommend to amend both statutes to include criminal penalties for election fraud. They also say to amend the law to allow DBPR to oversee HOAs and condominiums more effectively. At the minimum, the legislature should authorize DBPR to inspect records and to personally fine board members for failing to comply with the law or provide reports to members in a timely manner. Also, they say to expand the Florida Condominium Ombudsman's ability to oversee condominiums and allow the Ombudsman to review HOA complaints as well, okay? So what does this mean if you're in a homeowners association that you're suspicious of? Well, like I said before, first thing you wanna do is you wanna start attending those meetings. You also want to, uh, you know, if you think there's criminal activity going on, hire an attorney immediately, don't ha try to handle it yourself. Also sounds like it might not be a bad idea to reach out to Catherine Fernandez Rundle. Seems like she has taken, you know, the the mantle on this issue. And, you know, overall what you want to do is you want to get involved, right? Like we said before. So, hopefully this video helps anybody. We'll definitely be covering to see what happens. Right now there's been five people arrested and there could potentially be more arrests coming. Uh, so, you know, again, my heart goes out to all the people over there in the hammocks that have been dealing with this for all the the years that it's been going on and and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's super unfortunate and hopefully it gets corrected soon. So that's the video for, for right now. And if we have any more good updates on this story, I'll be sure to bring them to you guys. Jake Fletcher here with the Fletcher Group at EXP Realty, your Miami realtor. And again, all my contact info is in the description down below if you guys would like to reach out. And if you enjoyed this video, before you leave, do me a quick little favor. Go ahead and smash the like button, ring the notification bell, uh, hit subscribe, and don't forget to share this video with anyone who you think might find it interesting. And drop me a comment down below. What do you guys think uh, about this story? Uh, do you have any stories with your HOA or condominium association? I'd love to hear about it. Love to hear about it in the comments down below. See you guys on the next one. Peace.